Hey everyone, it's Tina Marie. Welcome back to my channel. So lately I've been wanting to try out really cute, quick and easy hairstyles, especially if you're in a hurry or you have something to do and you just need something really quick, something that takes 30 minutes or maybe 45 minutes. So I wanted to try this style. I have so much hair that I haven't used that I've bought that I haven't used like crochet hair and Kanekalon hair. I just have too much. So I'm trying to use it all and show you all these styles. So this is gonna be a really simple hairstyle. At the front, I am just doing this crisscross method. Um, you can make them as big or as small as you want, but mine are going to be pretty big because like I said, I wanted to do something very quick and easy. So I am doing four sections in the front and I am separating each section into two. So in total, I'm going to have eight. If you want to do smaller ones, definitely do that. It's so pretty when you do really small ones. It's pretty when you do big ones. So like I said, it's really whatever you want to do. So I am just taking some of my gel and putting it all around the perimeter of that and just brushing it out really good. And then I'm just gonna put a rubber band on it and that is it. But I am only putting rubber bands on the front row because I found that when I put rubber bands on the back row, it's just too bulky. Um, too many rubber bands because you have the rubber band in the back and then you're putting another rubber band on top of that to make it. It's just, it's too much. So what I do is I take one of the sections in the front, crisscross it with the one in the back, and then put a rubber band on that. That way it's flawless, it's seamless, it lays flat. That's another reason it lays flatter this way. When you already have a rubber band on the one in the back, it doesn't lay as flat as it would if you didn't have one already, if that makes sense. And this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing for the other side. So what I'm going to do in the back is just do three big braids, but y'all really can do whatever you want back here. I mean, you can do a braidless crochet, just put your hair in the low ponytail and then just crochet the ponytail around the ponytail at the top, all of that. So that option is available for you, especially if you're low on time. And once I'm done with my braids, I just take a little rubber band, make sure they all stay together. And I just take some bobby pins and pin that up. Um, if you want to use a needle and a thread, you definitely can. This is the hair that I'm using. I'm not cutting it in half or anything. I'm just placing a crochet needle through my braid, bringing the hair through and tying it, making a little knot. So I tie it at least two to three times just to make sure that it won't slip out or anything. And I just continue to do that throughout the rest of my hair. I don't have, you know, a set place where I'm putting them. They're just going any and everywhere. But when I get towards the top, I do like to make sure that at least the top row is fully covered since there's nothing there. It's just the end of where my rubber bands are from my crisscross little design at the front. I just put the hair at the bottom of that so that it will blend flawlessly. And then once I'm done, I just separate it, just separate, separate, separate until I get it to the fullness that I like. So what I love about this style is that you can 
Use any type of hair that you want in a bag, any kind of hair. And I am just going to swoop my edges just a little bit. And that is really it. This is the final result. I really do like this hairstyle. I like how full this is. I only used one and a half packs, so not that much at all. And you see how full it is. And like I said, that you can use any type of hair that you want in the back. I did go ahead and trim a little bit of it at the ends just so that it could be even. But that's it, y'all. Let me know what you think down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will have all the information down below about this hair in my description box. And I will see you all on the next video.